Hello and welcome. When it comes to our most known wars, a lot of people look towards World War II more so compared to World War I. Today's story we're gonna be talking about took place during World War I. We're talking about War Horse. War Horse was released in 2011 by Touchstone Pictures and DreamWorks. But because Touchstone Pictures is a part of it, I am counting it as a Disney film because there's one important reason that I needed to watch this film for the longest time. It was directed by Steven Spielberg, who is a legendary filmmaker. I haven't seen all of his work. I'm slowly getting into his work, but it really is a well done film. This I've never seen before. It is very long. It is over two hours hours and 30 minutes but the good thing is it keeps you interested and captivated in the story and even though it isn't really a true story it's based on true events obviously with the war it takes place in england and it's about a boy albert who ends up raising this horse joey Because of the circumstances, the family had to sell the horse into the war, and it's all about the, the horse's journey dealing with the war, as well as Albert's story and trying to get the, his horse back and finding him again after the war ends. And Albert enlisting into the war himself just to get closer to getting his horse back. And it's really, really serious and sad in some sense. Jeremy Ivern is Albert and he is our main star. We also have Emily Watson and Peter Mullen. But the more two important people that are the reason that I wanted to watch this movie in the first place is Tom Hiddleston and Benedict Cumberbatch. That's the only reason I really wanted to see this movie and I was so excited to be able to put this on my list because it was a long time for me wanting to see this because of them. They are wonderful, I love them so much, mainly Tom, but Ben Dick is awesome too. And this was a movie that they met on and became best friends. And then years later, they were in Marvel together. <laughs> and it's fantastic. It was the end of, of, of the days of chivalry and, and, and war changed and the world changed. Although I would say very quickly that we're at the beginning to just defend it slightly because it is it is about that. It is about that learning curve. It is about Edwardian military methods meeting modern mechanized warfare in the shape of a machine gun. And it is all about that transition. That's exactly what that moment entails. The only sad thing is because this was when they were still up and coming actors and weren't really known, the parts were so small. And spoiler alert, but if you are a Tom Hiddleston fan, you already know that he dies in this movie, especially because they talk about it a lot in interviews. So it is a very solid fact, but at the same time, he's not that major a character that it doesn't really affect anything. But I knew he was going to die in this film, but even then I didn't expect his part to be as small as it was. He was only on screen for maybe 20 minutes out of this two hours and 30 minute film. I don't doubt your qualifications, Albert, but the law was very clear about the proper age for soldiering. And your father's done what he had to do, you know that. It was still a very, very well done film that I was still involved with the story without him. The story is an original, it's based on a novel by Michael McCurgo, and that was also a children's novel. It was written in 1982, so it's a lot more of a newer story than I thought it would be. And it also did launch a play that was on Broadway in 2007 before we got this film. I, Albert Narakot, do solemnly swear that we shall be together again. I find it more funny that it's a children's novel compared to just a normal novel about this. And we have a happy ending, but at the same time, even this film is rated PG-13. So the target age range isn't matching up from the book <laughs> to the film. I don't have any complaints though. It really was well done. I really enjoyed it and it was a starting point for my love. So I'm happy. If you are interested in war films, then definitely check it out because obviously it's a huge, huge plot point of this film it's surrounded around war 
so unless you do like that, it's not for everyone. It does go without saying that war is a very popular topic when it comes to dramas. We're gonna continue with some more historical stories with Chicago tomorrow, so you can stay tuned. And as always, I hope you have a magical day and I will see you real soon. Thank you.